Hello and welcome back everyone, and today this is going to be my reaction to the half an hour treehouse video for Demon Knight's Machina. This is the first time I've seen this, so let's get into it. And we're going to be taking a look at a brand new mech action game called Damon X Machina. I'm Sam, Chico's here, she's going to be playing. On the end is Rich from Treehouse translating, but we've got a very, very special guest, Mr. Kenichiro Sukuda, uh, uh, <laughs> producer of this title from uh, Marvelous. So thank you so much for coming and uh, showing us your game. Keep it up. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're showing here uh, Damon X Machina. This game was announced during the Tuesday's uh, Nintendo Direct announcement mm. video. It looks really cool. Uh, here we are in the base uh, right now, and then uh, you'll be able to actually customize your avatar. So let's go in there. So already we've got customizable avatars. This is something that a lot of people were saying for ages about AC is that if you were able to get outside of the mech that it would be cool to have a customizable avatar just so you felt a little bit more grounded in the universe. Let's see how in-depth this goes. Uh, the character art design for this game actually is done by uh, Kodachi Yusuke, uh, who's also, who also did the character design for Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire Emblem Fate. So as a big Fire Emblem fan and a Nintendo fan myself, I'm really excited about this. Uh, news and also here uh, i can make a uh, either my own like a you know female avatar or male avatar but since mr tsukuda is here for us uh, i think i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> try to yes yeah. yes i'm gonna try to create him and as i do it maybe he can talk more about the game so so uh, this is a, a place where you can uh, ready your own character uh, to have whatever kind of character you want for yourself. I'm already wondering how much of an impact characters are going to have on this, whether it's just something to walk around in the hangar or whether it actually comes up in terms of gameplay and storyline. Uh, I've also noticed already we've got the current cash up here, which will probably be used for buying stuff later on, whether it be different customizable options or whatever we'll we'll see uh you can not only make a, a male avatar as chico said but also a female avatar so uh we hope everyone can enjoy playing this game <laughs> <laughs> uh, some uh, pretty good eyebrows uh, there we go i was right already about that if you go back <laughs> uh, some uh, pretty good eyebrows there we go so for instance here he changes the eyebrows slightly and the required cash pops up. There we go, so all the customizable stuff you require cash to do and then after which you pay that and that applies to your character. Okay, okay, that's that's interesting. <laughs> あ、そうですね。いや、それ。あ、ちょっとインタビューさ。はい。this is like this is looking pretty good though. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh no, this one, this one. Okay, so let's go with this one. Oh oh. Ja hanga no hong modotte mashu. Let's go back to the hangar. It's funny because this is already reminding me a little bit of Xenoblade Chronicles X mixed with Fancy Star Online 2 in terms of you have to buy your customization items and then you can make your character and that affects you know, the customization of it in the game, how it affects your character when they look it in the story. And it's more the cash thing there, because I'm imagining you get cash for various different missions and objectives, and then you can come back in at later points and get new customizable stuff. So, because they're still making the game, it looks like this is going to be one of those things that goes on for quite a while in terms of new items showing up. I can just imagine it already. ですね。はい。Now we're back to the base. So this is the uh, base for all the players in the game. 
期待を見てみましょう。So there, uh, これが皆さんがこう着て戦う期待になります。This is、uh, the suit that you will wear、um, and fight in in this game. たくさん。Mentioned the other day that was shown off in screenshots, and sure enough, it looks like we were right about it. They've got them hanging off the walls here.、Uh, yeah, I've worked with him for quite a while. And now, here, I'm just going to be able to see the other side of the wall. So, you see this、uh, space that we're showing here、uh, to the side. This is a place that you can decorate with the uh, uh, weapons that you collect as you play the game. So we've got what looks like shotguns here, followed by shields, and then what looks like shoulder mounted weapons. Looks like an energy weapon, a bazooka, and then some other weapons. I wasn't paying attention too much to them, I was looking down here. So the more you、uh, collect, the more you'll have on display, and、uh, the more fun this environment will be. They're huge. I know. They're huge. Let's see what they're like. So there's a, the, my, my arsenal is right here,、uh -huh. but there's also、uh, three more pad right here. Right, we've got some、uh, empty platforms、uh -huh. here.、Uh, do you want to tell us what those might be for? I think there's a lot of things that are going to be for. Yes, this is a lot of switch, so you can see that the people are going to be in the middle of the world. So,、uh, you know, this is the, the Switch after all, so I think that、uh, as you can expect,、uh, you'll be able to play、um, with some of your friends、uh, in this game as well. I'm wondering whether that's going to be co op campaign or just co op missions, depending. Either way, three other pads, so that's four player. Whether it be、uh, four player co op or four player just multiplayer in general, that's still decent. こう世界観なんですけどここにいる今光ってる場所があると思うんですけどこれがコンソールにもなるんですがあの中のこう光ってる場所が自分と一緒にこう自分に指示をくれるあの AI になります。Uh, so this, uh, you see here, it's、uh, part of the, the world design overall. Uh, it's where、um, you can go、uh, as a console to, to get your missions, but it also serves as an AI、um, that will、uh, help you on your missions.、Uh, yeah. So let's head into a battle. Okay.、Uh, well, let's just show a little bit of the hunger. So here I can kind of see、uh, my arsenal. I love already. We've got almost the same looking armored core setup. We've got the equipment menu. We've got paint and customize, which we're used to. We've got the registered loadout, which I'm assuming is just so you can quickly select different loadouts. And then here we've got、uh, testing grounds. I'll just、uh, alter this a little bit so you can see more of it.、But、yeah, basically. Testing grounds is probably going to be like where you click test your AC, but in this case, it's test your arsenal. So,、uh, here is where you can uh, customize your uh, own arsenal uh, to your own liking、um, with、uh, all sorts of different kinds of equipment.、Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but、uh, right now, let's head into the battle. Okay, so this overworld looks a little bit. Familiar, it looks kind of like the AC5 one, just in general, about being able to see a world map. But it also reminds me a little bit as well of, say, like I think it was either Armored Core 2 or Armored Core 2 Another Age, where you had the, the map, and whenever you selected different parts of it, it would come up with certain missions in that part of the map. 
Just so, oh, sorry. <laughs> so uh, we were going to this first uh, mission. Uh, I'm the I'm sort of like the main character is actually the part of the mercenaries and then a mercenary group, and then I will be uh, g given different kind of missions to take and then go into the mission, maybe sometime by myself, sometimes with more of the uh, mercenary group mm -hmm. members. And this is actually the first stage you will be going into in the game, and then there's yeah, sort of like a yeah, tutorial yeah. mode. Okay, before they even start, that looked incredibly colorful and nice. Let's, let's try and scoot back going a little into bit. The game. I am loving this art style at the moment. I understand it's going to be weird to some people that are coming off AC5, but the art style looks very stylized and colourful. They're not going for realistic here. Instead, they're going all out so that they can make it very colourful and make it appealing to more people. That's also why they're including different genders of character and trying to make it so you've got at least four players on it. Up here we've got icons for stamina, femto, I'm not sure about that, VP, I'm assuming that's either going to be boost or health. Uh, we've got different body parts here, I'm assuming those can get damaged. This is just all assumptions before they show it off, I just like being able to speculate about things. We've got a map in the top corner which is neat, and then we've got all the weapons here with their ammo, so okay, the, the HUD's kind of minimalistic. Let's see what happens. And then there's sort of like a tutorial mode. Uh, so this is a part uh, in the beginning of the game where the player is being given a test to see if he's, uh, he or she is uh, capable of uh, piloting uh, this arsenal. There's no boost gauge. I've already looked all the way around the the HUD here, there is no boost gauge whatsoever, so you can freely just boost around, okay. So you can uh, fly all over the place, you can go uh, even higher, and look below you, see over to the right. They'll probably explain it in a little bit, but I've just noticed what I thought were shields have popped up now, and also Femto keeps on going up. I want to see what that is actually used for, because it's got me interested. Also, it looks like, i just noticed here, there's a yellow boundary barrier here by the look of it, which we're all familiar with if you've played Armored Core. So this is a game where you can uh, play on the ground or in the air, um, however you'd like to play. That's what the so let's head down to the ground. <laughs> so uh, the mission hasn't started quite yet. Once you pass the, the purple barrier there, uh, the mission will begin. Let's give it, uh, let's go past that. Looks like Chico is just exploring some of her different movement options before we get into the game here. So you can see some tanks uh, across the way. They're all uh, controlled by AI. Um, and in this world, uh, AI are the enemies that you fight. Uh, so uh, we uh, defeated the enemies there in front uh, by shooting them, but as you can see just now, uh, you can also destroy them by uh, blowing up the building and having the fall on the enemies. Okay, that's really cool. So you have basically environment, well, environmental destruction that actually impacts the gameplay and takes out enemies. That's that's a neat thing that AC games never had before. Not properly anyway. You had like explosive barrels and things, but never something like that where you can just drop a building on something. <laughs> Uh, there are all sorts of uh, items on the map that you'll be able to use, um, like we just destroyed that building. And so we can pick up the cars over there. Nice. And you can throw it. Are they going to chuck a car there? Because it looks like... I, I know I've just paused it, but I... Uh... <laughs> 
ダメージを与えます。今うまく壊しました。Oh, there are plenty of other cards if you want to grab another one. <laughs> okay, so they blew it up in mid air, so you could possibly use that as like something to intercept someone in mid air if they're jumping at you and you have a lot, like say. Only a couple of rounds left in one weapon. Just throw a car at them and then blow it up next to them to damage them. That's I really like that idea. That is fantastic. 本当はあの爆発を近くでやると二つ同時に壊せたりします。So if you、uh, blow the car up、uh, next to those、uh, two turrets, you'll blow them up、uh, together.、Mm. Yeah. そのままぶつけることも可能です。And then you can、uh, just fight them directly. <laughs> ました。せっかく大きなの。ダメだ、エナミー。ダメだ、エナミー。ブロックエ。あ、あ、あ。ガッツアップ、ジュラン、タイプ、エナミー。結構ここにこう赤い石が見えると思うんですけど、ダメだ
刀を持ってると思うんですけど、so、I think that enemy, uh, has a sword. あれを倒せば刀がそのまま手に入ります。ナイスショット、チーコ。見たまんま自分の欲しいものを手に入れて戦う。So if you see something that you want,、uh, you can take it as your own. はい、じゃあピックアップしてみましょう。今真ん中にありますね。はい、so that's the sword the enemy had. Okay, I think there's one more. で拾ったものがこう今背中に装備されてるんですけど。So the weapons that you equipped are, are, are that you picked up are、um, actually stored on your back right now. あれで武器を切り替えて戦います。And you can、uh, switch to those weapons and, and fight with them. I don't know whether it's just the player at the moment, but it definitely looks a little bit awkward to aim. Although, if you did notice as well, the,、uh, the missile system reacts a lot like the Armored Core version, in which it counts down how many missiles you've got locked on and then fires. Okay. Let's use it, yeah. So I use the bazooka and it's not maybe much easier to do that guy. It's really good. Yeah, the bazooka is a pretty strong weapon.、Yeah. I just got it from the one another in it,、uh, arsenal, so that was good. So I think、uh, one of the、uh, earlier buildings that we saw had some,、uh, some graffiti on the side of it. こう自分でゲットできるようになってまして。And、uh, you'll actually be able to get that、uh, yourself. The g r a f i t i はい。こうあそこにこうあるんですよ。で、それをゲットするとこう自分の機体の色が変えれたりとか。And if you get that, you'll be able to、uh, change the color of your arsenal. Oh, that's very cool. Wow. そのマップの中を探索してても楽しい。So there are lots of、uh, things to find by、uh, exploring the map. That I didn't know. Okay, that's strange, and it's a unique idea as well. The fact that you can go ahead and find graffiti in the environment, and by finding that graffiti, that then unlocks different color styles or color combinations or just colors that you can use to customize your unit. Huh. So it's like they're almost adding a free roam exploration element inside the mission area in terms of like, oh, if you want to find these extra colors, go find the graffiti for them. No. Wow. So you see some time displayed on the top of the screen? So this is time for you to pick up things that you might have forgotten to pick up on the,、uh, on the map as you fall. So that was the end of the tutorial stage.、Uh, I think I didn't do as well as I expected. <laughs> Sorry about that.、Uh, this is the result screen of that mission. So maybe Mr. Tsukuda can explain a little bit about that. Result to come in. Hi. Koko ga, ano, saki, jibun ga uketa. Okay, so interestingly enough, unlike Armored Core, you don't have any money taken off you for your ammo at the moment. At the moment, it's just wingman damage and damages to yourself from the looks of it. Then also, it grades you on your accuracy and times that you're knocked down, which I'm assuming is times that your unit is left with hardly any armor on or left in a critical state to the point where you have to go around and scavenge more armor. So, this is、uh, the reward for the、uh, order that you just took on. And so, can you switch the page? So, these are the weapons that you picked up as well.、Uh, you can、uh, use the things that you pick up on the spot. Or take it back to the hangar with you. なのでこう倒せば倒しただけいろんなものが手に入るようになります。So just by defeating an enemy,、uh, you can get all, all sorts of things. You can also get bullets and you can get、uh, different parts too. So yes. じゃあ戻ってきたので装備を変えてみましょうか。はい。So now that we're back,、uh, maybe we can try changing our equipment. 今回は E3 ってことでまだアーマーの種類は入れてないんですけど。So, for the E3 version, we haven't put in、uh, a lot of different types of armor, but. But we can switch to. There we go, so we can see the customizability here. Let's have a look. We haven't put in、uh, a lot of different types of armor, but. Okay, there we go. So, we get to see the left and right weapons, the shoulders, auxiliary. R and L pylon. I have no clue what that's going to be. Then we have. I'm assuming these are. 
these are probably the body parts like we, we've got a processor we've got arm right arm left arm so they're more focused on the customizable look of the machine compared to the crazy stats thing we had going on with armored core durability firepower so over here on the the right i'll just show you guys where is it on the right here we have specs so we've got durability firepower ammunition mobility and scouting i'm assuming scouting is probably like radar range or something overall this looks pretty interesting it's a little bit less in depth than ac but i'm sure that's going to be a welcome addition to newcomers that will find it less confusing But we can switch to the uh, weapons that we just picked up. Mm. So I got the 12 inch weapon last time. Okay, so for weapons here we have bullets, bazooka, lasers, close range, special, and shield. I'm gonna have that nice. on my right hand. And maybe for the left. I don't know, maybe should I have bazooka from the beginning or maybe <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little too much. So I want to do that. Uh, one and then uh, i can actually have that bazooka i just got as the, sort of like a backup on my right pylon so mm. that's i think where i'm going to have my bazooka uh, okay i see so pylon is like the shoulder section so then you can just change out from your shoulders okay that's that's cool that's just basically standard ac stuff right arm left arm shoulder which i'm assuming is like extensions and then stuff on the back, so like right shoulder, left shoulder. Uh, yeah. So there are five spots that you can equip uh, your weapons to right now. Uh, there's one extra spot. But uh, I think we can talk about that uh, maybe the next time we talk about this game. Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Okay, let's go to the next mission then. So now uh, we can start the, uh, the next mission. Um, but uh, we've put a lot of uh, focus in this game into the art style. Anime comic ゲーム um, so, uh, there are uh, all sorts of things that I think that we're able to incorporate in this game from uh, anime and comic, things that users uh, have experienced, but maybe not it through the uh, like a mecha game uh, genre. The next thing is that the core is the core of the core of the core so uh, the uh, next stage that we're going to see uh, is a like a dark red color uh, that uh, kind of conveys a little bit of the uh, sense of fear uh, as part of this world. Uh, there are uh, other places uh, that actually have no color whatsoever. Uh, it looks like we're experiencing a technical difficulty with the game, but that gives us an opportunity to talk about it a little bit yeah, more sure. as, we, as we get that resolved. Yeah. So, uh, Sakuta-san, you're, you're well known for working on other mech series games. Um, what, what about this new game excites you, or what was one of your goals for this new game? えっと、特にいいと思いますか。やっぱりこう、リアルタイムで自分でこう見たまんまのものを手に入れていて、こう、敵からどんどん奪えるっていうのはやっぱり楽しいと思いますし。So um, I I think uh, being able to uh, take uh, something that you saw on an enemy in real time and making that your own uh, is a big part of the fun. You can make some uh, on-the-fly uh, tactical decisions. Right. If, the, if the weapons that you brought with you into a mission aren't working out for you, you can always uh, destroy an enemy and uh, receive new weapons that you can then use and readjust your strategy. Right. 
while they're busy trying to fix the demo, I'd just like to say that at this point, I'm really, really happy to see that kind of element in terms of being able to pick apart your enemies and get new items off them and use them in battle and also being able to pick off different armor parts and also the environmental stuff, being able to drop buildings and throw cars at your enemies. That looks fantastic. Hi, so did it. Let's skip along here. That you're playing the energy that we saw um, uh, from those uh, fragments uh, of the moon are, uh, you know, the uh, energy that, that drives this world. Mm. So obviously we're playing um, an early in development version of the game, but already it's looking fantastic. I think that focus that you're putting into the the art style really comes across. It shows very, very well, and it's a beautiful looking game. こう、木とかが近づくと自然に揺れるようになっていたりとか、こう、絵もこう、色味を最初に、な、こう、さっきの感情のところで、どう気持ちを出すかっていうのをやりたいんだって話をした時に、こう、みんながやりましょうって言
、チコさんにとってはどうかな、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、ちょっと分かんないですけど、Ah, there we go. There, I'm sorry for interrupting. There was the level boundary there. You could see it as it came up. A little bit like Detroit for the,、uh, the boundary. Also, I like the way that they're using color theory to more or less inform the design so that you get some really unique looking areas and things. Might be better to use Bazooka to、uh, shut、nice、it down shot. quick. And then, of course,、uh, some of the arsenal is quick, and then they, they might be using more melee weapon focused attack. And in that case, you might want to switch your weapon to more like a melee weapon as well to attack them back. ここはまあさっき言ったように赤いんで、こう後で待ってるものがあります。So uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, the environment is, is really heavy on the red right here, and that you know that's because there's、uh, something waiting in the wings. なのでどんどん進めてみましょうか。So uh, let's uh, keep going forward. 壊しちゃいましたね<笑>。すみません。あ、you destroy that building, huh？ あれ壊しちゃうと、あの本当は守るものなので。あ、so this is actually a protection mission. You're supposed to be protecting the city. そう、後で怒られます。So you're gonna get in trouble later. Oops, maybe I'm not good at the mercenary. Well, Sukuta-san, when we were talking earlier, you did mention that there are no people in these buildings, though. So Chico doesn't have to worry about being a mass murderer when she destroys them. My 話だとえっとあのあのこのビルには人は入ってないとあのおっしゃってましたが。あのやっぱりそれでチコさんはあのそんなにはあの、えー、罰は与えられないですね。ここは世界としてはもう敵が来た時点でみんな。The art style for the the buildings doesn't seem too sci-fi, which isn't too bad to be honest. It seems like a mix. There's something giant in the background that's like embedded in the floor, and I want to know what it is. It's like some giant technological thing. I wonder whether they'll spin round to it in a moment. 地下に避難しているので。Uh, so in this world,、uh, everyone's sort of、uh, evacuated to uh, underground um, to uh, escape the enemies. I love that. So immediately, it, it is it's a spiritual successor to Armored Core. They've more or less confirmed it there. If they hadn't already threw some marketing material that I haven't seen yet or whatever, then they've more or less spelled it out there. It's, <laughs> it's a spiritual successor to AC. I'm loving this. ただ壊れるとやっぱ建物をさすがに壊すと。But you know, of course, if you destroy their buildings, they're probably going to be upset. Right. It's a beautiful city. We still don't want to see it destroyed, Chico. I, I wouldn't think to do that, but you know, I couldn't help it. Looks like I, I cleared the enemies from the city, and I thought I was about to go back to the base. However. Well, we'll send that in us. And now we have a boss battle. Yeah. Oops. Oops. He's got grass and moss and such growing up the top of him. Yeah, I'm just huge. I don't know about this. But it's quite strong. Yeah. It's a pretty strong boss. Goodness. I think I can tell you. But now the enemy is firing missiles at you. That's the enemy. 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 But it is possible to shoot them all down on your own. My people are probably no damage. So people who are really good can probably get through this without taking any damage. Now, E3 mode, the attack is quite fast. We're, you know, the E3 version. I think that was a challenge, Chico. No. So if you get、uh, close to this enemy,、uh, something else might happen. But you can you can choose how you want to、uh, fight the enemy,、uh, whatever distance、uh, you want to keep. Mr. Tsukuda, is it possible for me to actually land on his shoulder or something? Ah, the way you, ah, the touchback is possible. Yes, you can fight on the way you fight. You can actually also, yeah,、oh. uh, land on him and fight as well. Okay, let me try that. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> you said when you get close, something、oh, no! might happen. <laughs> I think the thing that might happen is Chico's gonna get hit with that gigantic sword. Chico, no, he grabbed me. So yeah, you can see the sand growing,、uh, the、uh, grass growing on top, as Sam mentioned. 
この AI はこう街の外をこう放浪していて、そして、この間にこう木が生えてしまって、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、So, interestingly enough, I read stuff up about this before doing the video, and they've actually got Amaro and Char's voice actors from Gundam doing the Japanese version for both of these characters that we're seeing at the moment. So, naturally, Char's the one in the red suit. Oh, it's, it's so good. Okay, that was cool. So you can jump out your mech if you want at the end for a victory thing. So that was the half hour video from Damon X Machina from E3 2018. I know I've added like 11 more minutes of commentary to this, but genuinely, I am really hyped about this at the moment. I can't wait to see more of it, and as more news comes out, I'm going to be covering it. More or less as soon as I can, the moment I get any new info on this, because this was dropped quite recently on the Treehouse. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and if it's your first time seeing the video, then of course you're probably hyped like I am, because this are uh, a spiritual successor to Armored Core that allows you to interact with the environment, looks incredibly stylish and fun, and allows you to play co op with other people by the looks of it, and allows you to actually have a player avatar. That looks so damn good. I, I need to see more of this. Anyway, until next time.